party people party people hey y'all fine to see you how do you do it's me again your new friend <laughs> hi it's the 7th january 7th and i just came out i did a full clean of my house everything this nail omit it just omit the nail okay because it broke and i'm gonna tell y'all a funny story so <laughs> water was getting under that nail and it caused it caused it to get a little green you know a little fungus on it so when i took it off i saw it on there to get um a new nail she took it off so I took it off and I was like, all right, don't put no new nail on there. Do not put no nail on that finger. It needs to dry out and clean up the train. Bright line. Fastest train down here. Commercial. But, um, so <laughs> some was like, all right, don't put no nail on that dang on finger. Let it, you know, put the stuff on it so it could dry out. My dumb ass put the nail on it anyway. <laughs> and every day after that, for like three days, that's how long it, it got to stay on. I was like, I need to take this nail off. I need to take this nail off. My damn finger gonna fall off if I don't take the nail off. And I went to open the cabinet. And what do you know? The side of this nail that needed to come off hit the cabinet door and flipped off. No pain at all. Gone. In an instant. And that's how I know if God loves me. He cares about me. He wanted me to keep my finger. I need my finger. So what he did, boop, flipped it off. I didn't. <laughs> All I had to say is I need it off and it was gone. Imagine that. Just imagine that shit there. But yeah. I'm at my favorite spot. I'm at Old LA going to get me and my friend a couple margaritas because I told y'all that's our spot and it's Saturday. So why not have a margarita? Um, And so you guys, I don't know if I'm going to pick y'all back up when I get over there. If we cook, I will, of course, so y'all can see that. Y'all like my sunnies? Fashion Nova. New sunny alert. Fashion Nova. This is a new, a new, like, look for me because I usually pick, like, the larger frames and I really like them on my face. Makes you look a little posh. But I was feeling a certain type of way with this little dress on. Can you, this little dress, ooh, can you do that? This little dress here. And I was like, hey, Miami day, South Florida day. Put on your little shades with the chain link. Put on your little back at you necklace and be happy so let me go get these drinks bye Okay, <clears throat> so just left the orale, 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 and I got food too because I couldn't wait. I'm hungry, hungry. So I got steak tacos. Yes, steak tacos. Um, with the beans, vegetable. You know, nope, nope.
no lard beans, like vegetable beans. And um, yellow rice, Spanish rice. The other day, it's so crazy because the other day I was actually craving Spanish rice, like the yellow rice. So I made um, lamb, what did I made? I made lamb chops, lamb sh the, the lamb shank or shoulder, the little cute one that looked like a tiny little um, T-bone steak. Yeah, I made those with the um, Spanish rice and it was so good. I actually made lamb chop and lentils and brown rice for New Year's because I was, um, I know everybody probably saw it like on social media where they were saying what you should do before the new year, like wear red or eat black eyed peas or eat lentils or, you know, do things like that. So what I did is I made a shrine. <laughs> I made a shrine uh, around my son's little stuff that I keep and I put like oranges and pomegranate and all these fruits there, you know, just like what is it like a gift you know coming into the new year I, I don't have my son with me but I love him so much so I gave him a little gift you know and then also I made the lamb because I don't know where I get lamb from so I was like I supposed to make lamb in the new year so I made the damn I made the lamb not a damn lamb it was a good lamb so I made the lamb and I made the lentils and we had a good New Year's as you can saw as, as you can saw as you can see in the last video and I, I just thought about something because the guy lied to me you know when I had to make the big spectacle about the vanille being sold out all over and I did a search and you know the first time I did the search it was not popping up but the second time I did the search I found the vanille Atelier collection, Versace, the vanille at Harrods. And mind you, it does cost a little bit more than even at Versace itself. And it has to be um, shipped from somewhere weird. So you have to pay like $46 in shipping. So I was like, no, I'm okay. I already got my gifts. Next time I come around, I'll get it. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. I don't want no flower, sir. Flower guy. <laughs> So yeah, um, so back on my way to my friend's house so I could do that, but I feel great. Yeah. Steak tacos. <laughs> so, what are we doing?
y'all. I just came from the grocery store because I realized I haven't been to the grocery store in a minute. So that's why I just came back from. And I tried to do <laughs> a little bit of vlogging in there, but it's so awkward. I'm gonna get used to it though. So I'm like holding up the camera. I need a a little, I don't know what you call it, a stick because I'm just using my phone, it's not on the camera, but I do need a stick so I can prop it up there. And it'll be easier for me because holding it is embarrassing. And so I did like a little montage. I'm gonna do like a little bit of B-roll to show you what I got because I'm not gonna do like a grocery haul. Who? I don't think y'all wanna see a grocery haul. If you do, let me know. But so thankful for today. So yeah, I'm thankful I was even able to go buy myself some food to put in the refrigerator, you know? So it's the little things that you have to be happy about. And I was about to cook. I was like, hey, I'm gonna just go buy some food and go cook. I was gonna do like some tofu type thing, but I got kind of lazy and I do. I went back to work. My, la my first full week of work was last week and it ended Sunday and it was really, it was nice to be back, nice to get back rocking again in the new year, but I did need that time off, let me tell you. Um, but I was going to cook, so I went ahead and went in there. And when I saw that there was no line in the lunch line where they had the buffet and I did put it in the little B-roll, you'll see it. I just went ahead and got that, and they have a lunch special. It's like $8.99, and you get two sides and, you know, a meat. So I did two half meats, so, you know, so I can get a little bit more so I did half orange chicken half pepper pepper steak and then scallop potatoes and beans and rice excited about that because I am hungry so and then I have some little food that you know like little salad and pitas and fruit juices and stuffed mushrooms like little stuff like that just trying to eat a little bit lighter. They didn't have the meat that I wanted. That's why I didn't get it from there. And I'm not just, just going to go buy some if I, if I know I don't really want it. Just to have it. No. So that's what I did. And now I'm going to go back home so I can eat my lunch. Um, I just wanted to get in because I didn't. I know I didn't get on yesterday. And it's been like since, I don't know, the other day when I was out. That I got on. So I just wanted to put this a part of the vlog. And I will put my little grocery store run in there i was gonna go to the beach today because i'm all for going to the beach but i decided not not to um i just want to like kind of like chill around the house make sure that everything's completely clean because I, I did do a really good deep clean wipe the walls down the baseboards changed out everything all the rugs clean the rugs so that was nice So I'm gonna go back home, be comfortable, but it's such a beautiful day out. It's so sunny and nice. I'm so thankful to be in the warm. It's like 82 right now in January. So that's how South Florida does. Another thing that I've been trying to do that I can't get my, I gotta do more research. That's what that tells me, but I need to make my videos. Y'all see how my videos are not, um, vlogs are not fitting the screen y'all need to tell me how to make my videos fit the freaking screen i'm going to buy a camera i know that's the first step but even my little niece said when she um does her vlogs in iMovie she can fit the screen so i'm like why can't i so that's what i'm working on today and also getting my thumbnails together because i need to learn how to do thumbnails so my vlogs can be a little bit more attractive but yeah, so that's what we're working on. Peace. Hey, y'all. All right. So it's another day. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> um, I think this is a pickup from when I went. I was going over to my friend's house and I had went. Um, we was going to barbecue or something, but we ended up not doing that. I think I actually got tacos that day from Old LA. Um so today I woke up and I was like, let me get up, let me go wash my car. So I went through the washer to 
to go wash the car. So I went to go wash the car and had a coupon from Popeyes. So I bought something online. I got the, actually I got blackened chicken strips, which are new. And you know, we so used to the breaded chicken strips. So now Popeyes actually has blackened chicken strips. And can you see it? I'm excited about it. At first when I opened it, I didn't know how I felt about it because they were small, but I have to remember natural chicken, thank God it ain't all big. And it's not breaded, so it's gonna be a little bit smaller. So we're gonna try that out. Excited about that. Okay, leave that there. And then also what's new, when I got there, I realized they had ghost pepper chicken wings. And this is new. It's supposed to be really hot. So it's ghost pepper chicken wings. I got six, they six for $5. And the only thing about it is why they gave me mostly drums. They gave me one wing and the rest of them are drums. But hey, more meat for me. More meat on the bone probably. So we're gonna try that out. I got some else, I got some desserts too that I wanted to try, I've never seen these before. So the first dessert I got is called, let me look at the name. Oh, strawberry cheesecake cup. So that's that, we're gonna try that out. I put it in the freezer too, because it took me a minute to get to the food. So strawberry cheesecake cup, sauces of course to go with the chicken if I need it. I'm gonna try it plain first before I try any sauces just to make sure it's good and also we got a pie but not just any pie this is a ooh blueberry lemon cream pie that should be good and I'm so hungry I haven't eaten I haven't eaten anything today so we're gonna bust into this right now also, I got sides that came with it. I got um, the red beans and rice. You'll see that in a minute. And then also I got mashed potatoes and gravy. Love that. So let's try the blackened chicken strips first. All right, blackened chicken strips. Here we go. Popeye's blackened chicken strips. So, it's good. It got a little spice to it. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. First reason I got it, Excuse my fingernail, guys. Still gotta go get my nails done. That's neither here nor there. Back to the topic. They spicy. They good. And they're about 400 calories. Excuse me. 400 calories less than the breaded chicken tenders. And also I had a coupon for this. And they was like. It's actually a meal deal. It was like $9.99 for six strips, two sides, two biscuits. So I'll have some Thalita. And I will take another bite of this because it's really good and I'm hungry. I don't know if I'm hungry. I mean, I don't know if it's good or if I'm hungry. But right now it's tasting real good. Okay. That's good. All right. It don't got a tongue spice. It got like a back of your neck spice, if that makes sense. Now these, supposed to be spicy all around. And we gonna see if it is or what is hitting them, okay? So, since I got all these drums, might as well start there first. 
<laughs> like all these drums. Um, let's see. Here we go. That's a big one. Looks nice and crunchy too. That's a big one. I don't want that big one. Scared of it. Scared of that big chicken. Let's start with this tiny little baby. All right, here we go. This is the ghost pepper chicken wing, ghost pepper chicken wing, ghost pepper chicken wing, ghost pepper chicken wing. You got a crunch? It's a nice crunch. I can dig it. Now, my lips are, ooh! I like the heat. I really like the heat on this. That's why I got them. But my lips are a little bit tingly right off the bat. Right? Mm. This is good. Go get them. It was um six for five dollars. I think they like they really like um, like it's a box six for five dollars, but they do got twelve for twelve dollars because I believe they like a dollar a piece right now. Yeah, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. When them shoulders start rock. Woo! It gets you right here. It gets you right there. Right in your throat. That's the sweet tea. It is so good. Believe it or not, out of all the drinks besides water, the sweet, the sweet tea at Popeye's has the less amount of calories. And I'm sure it has uh, less sugar than all the fountain drinks. So, yeah. Mm. I love the little crispy pieces. Mm -mm -mm. I can't get dirty with it in front of y'all, but just know I'm holding back. But this is good. Oh, this is my one wing. My one little flap. Mm. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Ooh. Mm. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I like them and I will get these again. Which one I like best out of them? Mm. Out of this, the black and chicken, you can see black and chicken, Popeyes, black and chicken tenders, or I'm about to demolish these, the ghost pepper wings. I'm going to say ghost pepper wings win as far as being crispy and like juicy. The flavor is all the way through the wing. Um... And they have a nice heat spice, like heat level. Mm. That's really good. So these wings, <laughs> hold on. So these definitely win. Winners! These come in second, but they're still good. I ain't gonna hate on them. Let me taste my little I really don't want to eat this biscuit because it's going to make me too full, but I'm going to bite it. I'm going to flip it over so it's cute. Oh, it's warm. Yum. Okay. That was the chicken challenge. Black and chicken tenders. Um. Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper chicken wings from Popeyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and, oh. 
mashed potatoes. mashed potatoes and gravy and these usually a little spicy too these like my favorite mashed potatoes out of any of the like chain restaurants they got the best mashed potatoes mm. all right red beans and rice coming up Usually they got the gravy. Oops. Usually they got the gravy on the top, but right now it's just rice on the top, and you can see the beans in there. Try some of that. They made it upside. Oh, I'm making a mess. Those taste real smoky. You know, like actual smoke. They got a lot of smoke to them. Really do. Ew. Oh, dirty. All right. So let's hop into these desserts. I'm going to start with this one. Oh, and if, if y'all want to know what sauces I had got, excuse the rice flying, everyone. I got ooh, <laughs> sweet heat. And of course, Bayou Buffalo. Bayou Buffalo. Those are my favorites. I like hot stuff. Set your booty on fire, you know? All right, so here is the strawberry cheesecake. Try that out. With the same fork, yes. Okay, going to the same place. With my makeup, my lipstick on. It don't look like much, but it is so good. This is good. Oh my gosh. I don't know when the last time I had cheesecake, but baby, I don't remember the cheesecake being this good and creamy. And this is from Popeyes. It was like, I think it was like $2.49. It's so good. Mmm. It make me feel warm inside. Mmm. I'm going to have to save some of that for later. I can't eat that in one sitting. That is indulgent. But it is really good. 10 out of 10, do recommend this. Get it. Just try it even once because it is really good and satisfying, creamy, and fruity, and it's sweet, but it also is not that sweet because of the milk that's in it. That's really good. I like that. Okay, into the pie. So this is what we got. We got the blueberry lemon cream pie. Blueberry lemon cream pie from Popeye's dessert. This was $1.69. I mean, after eating like a meal, you get like a meal like this for $5, just the wings, right? And you get one of these, that's like $6 for lunch. And that's really good. It's just that I wanted to try these things. So that's got them. I, that's why I, it's just that I wanted to try these things. That's why I got them all together. And I thought it would be really, really nice to show y'all. So that's what I got. And I do recommend each one of these items. I'm not going to lie. They are really, really good. These black and chicken, um, the black and chicken strips, if you want to stay close to um, your diet and eat less calories and still want big flavor without all that extra mess, this is really good. Just the strips. You don't have to get the, the, um, the, um, <laughs> biscuits you don't have to get the biscuits you can get one of the sides you know cut it down that's really good and then also these wings are spectacular and every time they come around i'm gonna get them i hope they're just not seasonal but 
oh excuse me the ghost pepper wings really really good let me clear my palette okay so that's what it looks like and it's this big i'll show you how big it is okay it's a nice amount let me see mm. Mm. oh yeah All of it came up to like $19.40. And guess what? I can eat this for like two days. I ain't gonna lie. I don't throw away food. Leftovers is good food. Put it in the refrigerator. And I, I don't have a microwave, which is good. So everything I heat up back in the oven, and everything tastes fresh again. You can even put this stuff in your air fryer. I can put it in my air fryer if I wanted to, but happy with lunch. And car is washed today. Vacuumed the inside. And yeah, going to work. So I'll see y'all on the next portion of the video. Ira, always, I-R-A-2-L-W-A-Y-Z um, on Instagram as well. Follow me on Instagram. So it's I-R-A-A-L-L-W-A-Y-Z on YouTube and also on Instagram. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your bell notification so you can get more um, uh, faster access to my posts when they drop. And I'm so happy y'all are here. Keep on coming. We'll keep trying new things. This is my first random re review, Popeye's chicken. Hey, friends. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hey, y'all. Man. <laughs> Welcome back. Ira always. Come see me in all different type of ways every day. Welcome back to my channel. Like and subscribe. Comment if you care to. If not, just keep watching. I do thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. All of it is greatly appreciated. But y'all, why do why DF? DF. Do I have a tooth? growing back here I'm over 30 I have a wisdom tooth that probably had to grow out of my shoulder to take this long <laughs> to break through my gum I didn't know why my mouth was hurting how it was like two weeks ago. Turns out I was fucking teasing. Like an infant. <laughs> like, and it's all the way back here too. Luckily, it's not bothering any of my other tooth because um teeth. Because remember, it never grew in, so the space is there. It's just breaking through, so it's a little bit painful. But I'll be all right. Maybe that means I'll, I've learned quite a few things and now I've earned my wisdom tooth. <laughs> Late bloomer. <laughs> Late bloomer, anyone? <laughs> and guess what? Let me tell y'all how I got scammed. It was actually my fault how I got scammed. And... It's funny and it's not funny because the, the girl turned out to be not professional at all. And I'm, mm, I would never recommend her. Even though her work was nice, she's not a nice person because, okay, so 
so I went online. I went on Instagram. I was just desperate to get my hair done, guys. I'm so tired of this wig. I'm just so tired of covering up my hair. I want my parts, you know, like my scalp to get some sun. But I also want a protective style because I don't want to have to comb it. So I settled on getting some twists in my hair, like individual rope twists. And I was looking all around, so I went to the tag Miami Braiders, you know, looked around, picked out a picture, and I was like, okay, I want my hair like this. And on, so on the bio, I didn't read where the girl was even from. I automatically thought that she was in, you know, South Florida. Why? I don't know. That's my bad. That's on me. I should have did my research a little bit better. So I DM'd her, you know, asked her was she available Friday, you know, in the morning so I can come. She DM'd back, you know, probably in the next 10 minutes, which was great. I got to go in the store and I'll be back. So I'm going to have to remember that part. She DM'd back in 10 minutes. I'll be back to the store, guys. Okay, back. Had to take pics, a pit stop. <laughs> okay, so I left off. I left off on saying after I DM'd the girl about the appointment time and the hairstyle, she said, "Okay, um, I'm available 10 a.m. on Friday on that day." And she was like, "Oh, the deposit. Oh, it's 200, which is okay, and the deposit is 50." And then I was like, okay, well, what do you provide the hair or what kind of hair do I need? Um, she was like, she can provide it, but it's going to, you know, at a higher charge. And she was like, um, I will give you all the details once you send the deposit. First thing she says, once you send the deposit. So I'm like, okay, you know, I really want my hair done. I don't want to have to wait around. I don't want to have to call other people. I'm going to send the $50. So I sent the $50 through her cash app no problem with that she gets it confirmed she got it she texts me right away with the picture of the type of hair which was very great picture of the type of hair um how many packs i need what well, she said 13 packs of the extra long stretch connect line and i was like 13 packs that's a lot but i haven't had my hair braided in so long a bitch could tell me 100 packs and i go get the 100 fucking packs so um so yeah and then next thing she says to me she was like oh i travel because mind you on her instagram she said she's young she's 20 you know and i was like okay i remember when i was young i used to do hair you know that's how i used to make money i used to do everybody hair so it's like let me support the young black queen get my hair done you know i would have tipped in everything everything would have been great but my dumb ass did not see that she was in Atlanta. So when she asked me, you know, do um, you know, she told me that she can come to me because it seems like on her page she didn't have no shop right now. She's in the process of moving her website down. Those are red flags, but I didn't take it as such. I don't know. I just needed my hair done, y'all. And that's what I was on. So I send her a message. I'm going to put the screenshots in here. That's going to be something that I did. I'm going to do for the first time. Oh, I don't know if y'all see I did my thumbnails, child. I put thumbnails on my last video so I can look a little professional. I'm proud of myself. I've been working this thing out and I'm going to keep going. You know, I'm going to keep doing my vlogs. Somebody going to like it somewhere. It is what it is. It's not when it's, it's not if it's gonna happen it's when it's gonna happen and that's on so i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going keep talking keep inviting y'all and hopefully y'all stay and y'all turn on them bell notifications so y'all can see ira always all the time and it's ira always two uh a two l w a y z on instagram if you want to follow me there but yeah so i sent the dm saying oh girl um I just saw that you was in Atlanta. I'm in, you know, South Florida. And, 
you know, do you think you can go ahead and send that back <laughs> when you get a chance or whatever? This girl sent me a long paragraph talking about I'm the second person that did that today. And like thinking that, you know, it's, I don't know, she just came out very weird. Like she wasn't a good person. So, you know, most people, if you make a mistake like that, not even five minutes and y'all ain't in the same place, if you get money and all that shit, like you say that you are, you got hundreds and hundreds of, you've had hundreds of great appointments, you got hundreds of great reviews. This, this, that wasn't even the argument, sister girl. The argument is that I saw your work, your work was good, I made an appointment, I thought she was in South Florida, or even if she was in Orlando. Even if the girl was in, um, she could have been in Tampa. I would have drove up there and got my hair done since I already got, gave her the $50. You know, it wasn't a big deal to me. She went on a rampage about how, she, first of all, she mis misinterpreted what I said on the second um, Instagram DM. I was like, girl, she was like, I don't know how y'all do this. It's, say, it's screaming Atlanta on my page, which it probably was, but I wasn't even dealing with that. I went through a tag that said Miami braid, braid stylist or something like that. So people put all those hashtags and, you know, lead you to believe that they're in a certain place and they aren't. And that's how the conflict lies. There's probably people that got businesses on taking people deposits just like this and have no intention of doing their hair or being in their area. So I, that's the first thing that came to my mind. But, you know, she's followed by certain people and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's legitimate. That's where all that, like, you can't be trusting that shit. Not saying that she don't do hair, but the way that she went about taking my, my freaking $50, and it was $50 was the deposit, okay? And I paid it with no problem. She should have gave it back with no problem. I don't even care if she was like, okay, I can give you back 30 I would have been like, okay, I'll take the 30. But she, I just told that at the end, I just told that bitch, you know what? I was just desperate to get my hair done. Um, you know what? Don't worry about it. Fuck it. Um, and then I was like, um, LOL, like Merry Christmas, LOL. Because that's not going to stop me from sleeping. You know? I'm just like, I think that was like kind of inconsiderate of her. It was kind of heartless to go off on a rampage but I do have to know again this is a young girl I don't know where her head at I don't know where her finances are so maybe she needed the $50 and God just made it that way so she can get it at that moment who knows that's what me and my friend was saying so she can take the $50 from me to you boo boo but now I'm still without a hairdo Y'all tell me how y'all feel about that, what y'all would have did, how you would have approached her after that. And I'm going to put in the um, the screenshot of the conversation because I don't think I said enough of, you know, what was the actual dialogue of the DMs. So I'll put that in. You guys tell me what you think. I know it was kind of effed up. You know, she didn't have to take all the $50. But again, maybe she needed it. You don't know what people going on in their life. But why had to be mine? Next time, note to self, make sure that you're reading where these people are before you send them the deposits. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope y'all liked everything I did. I don't even remember what I did all in this video. But I do know I did the Popeye's mukbang. I do know nothing else. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to me rant about being scammed um like comment and sub subscribe ira always a i r a a double l w a y z all right peace y'all till next time